breaking this morning, an ICE agent weighing in on the massive migrant drops we've seen at the southern border. And the details are stunning. So Team Fox coverage, Jason Chaffetz has reaction in a moment, but we begin back on the border, La Jolla, Texas there, where Bill Malugin begins our coverage today. Bill, hello. Bill, good morning. This body cam video likely to raise eyebrows, also raise a lot of questions about the secrecy in which the federal government has apparently been moving illegal immigrants all around the country in the dark. Take a look at that body cam video right now. As you mentioned, this was back in August, Westchester County, New York. Government chartered flight lands at the airport there. Local police officer shows up and sees illegal immigrants getting off the aircraft, and he starts asking questions. Take a listen. Yeah. Good luck with that. You know, you're on a, a secure facility here, and, and we don't really know anything, and we're in charge of security. So that's hence where we're having a problem here. So, yeah, we're hanging out here on the tarmac, just yeah. like that. I, used I don't to know pick, anybody. I used, to pick up, uh, I used to pick up basketball teams that had more security. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. No, and very easily, you know, a few people could just go that way. <laughs> So um, I'm here to see uh, where they're coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's slowly coming together. But we also don't know, uh, you know, really what's what's happening, how they're getting here, whatever else. You don't want to be somewhere where the spotlight is. Yeah. You want to try to keep it as down low as possible. A lot of this is just. No, I, I get it. I just, like I said. stuff that we don't tell people. Because what we don't want to do is attract attention. We don't want the media. Yeah. Like, we don't even know where we're going when they tell us. Meanwhile, we have been witnessing our own mass releases of illegal immigrants here in the RGV this week. This is video we shot yesterday in Brownsville where we saw well over 50 single adult male illegal immigrants just dropped off by ICE uh, near a parking garage in the city and released into the public. You're watching uh, as an NGO leads those men across the street to a bus terminal. Many of those men had ankle monitors on. Several of them were hiding their faces uh, from our cameras. An ICE agent came forward to me uh, who who's been involved in mass releases and told me this has been discreetly going on since last spring. He told me that ICE has been releasing migrants with misdemeanor criminal records, including assault, DUI, drug possession, and illegal reentry. I reached out to ICE about that this morning. They did not deny it. They told me all releases are done on an individual case-by-case -case basis, and they consider all factors when doing so. And back out here live, I also asked that ICE agent, are U.S. taxpayers footing the bill for migrant travel? He told me they work with NGOs. The NGOs will ask the families of those migrants to please provide an address and buy them a bus ticket or a plane ticket to a city of their choosing. If that doesn't happen, the NGO will buy the ticket themselves, then bill the federal government for reimbursement. That agent went on to tell me that he feels the Biden administration has turned ICE ERO into an unofficial travel coordination agency and morale has never been lower. Well, there's a lot to more to learn on this. Bill Malusian, thanks. La Jolla, Texas today. Dana. Well,